Hi, I'm Rachel Chang. My husband Jamie and I first became members of Westminster in 2002, then uh, lived in Virginia for several years and came back to Westminster um, when we moved back to the area in 2016, this time with our daughters, Elise and Clara. Um, and one of the main things that drew us to Westminster and drew us back again was the commitment that the church uh, showed and continues to show to serving the larger community. Um, for the past three years, I've had the privilege of serving as a deacon on the local missions committee, and this gave me an even deeper understanding of Westminster's commitment to supporting agencies working to help Durham's most vulnerable people. One of my responsibilities on local missions was to serve as our congregation's liaison to families moving forward, a shelter in downtown Durham that helps children and families experiencing homelessness. I got to prepare meals and babysit kids with many of you while parents had meetings or life skills training to help break the cycle of poverty. I got to know the dedicated staff that runs the shelter, and they are a wonderful, amazing group of people. Um, we can't volunteer that way right now, of course, but the local missions committee is making sure that we're staying connected with them and the, our other agency partners about the ways that we can continue to support them from a distance. In addition to the hands-on service Westminster members provide, I also got to see close up the time and care the local missions committee puts into allocating the congregation's funds that are set aside for benevolences. I never doubted that our contributions were being spent responsibly, but I soon realized that the recipients are vetted much more deeply than I would have ever have the time or the relationships to be able to do as an individual. Hours and hours are spent reading applications, meeting with agency representatives, and discussing funding decisions. I'm proud, so proud, that Westminster gives away 17% of its budget to outreach and grateful that it's done so carefully. Like everyone, our family has found these past several months stressful and anxiety provoking. Um, but this time has also been marked for me by a profound sense of gratitude for the ways that we are sheltered from the worst of this crisis. Um, literal shelter, of course, and plenty of food, um, but also the option to be safely at home with our children, good internet access for school and work, and even online dance classes, um, green spaces just outside our door um, to soothe our jangled nerves. Um, this is just naming a few. So very grateful for these things that are, have been grace in the wilderness for us. And I'm sad that so many in our community aren't protected in the same ways. So naturally we feel called to share what we've been given, but it can be overwhelming, especially now to know where to give when there's so many needs. How do we turn this gratitude into something that helps other people feel that same sense of comfort and security. Our family's best answer for this is to give to Westminster and in doing so give to an impressive group of carefully considered organizations working hard to improve the lives of our neighbors. It feels important that each gift that we make to Westminster reaches out to touch lives through housing, food, education, and mental health support. It gives me much needed hope that we can inch the world toward being a more loving and inclusive place.